Ay, teacher, solo nosotros dos estamos, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Ay, Dios, ya se nos unió al Marcel. Y sí, a Lely, excelente. Good evening, teacher, y no se le escucha nothing. Nothing, ok. Marvin, can you listen? Mm. No listen. Marcel, ¿tú escuchas? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, tenía problemas con my... Marvin. Marvin, do you... Marvin ¿me escuchas? Mm -mm. Yes. You can hear me? Yes. Aleli tiene problemas. Ok. Teacher, uh, I'm uh -huh. connecting my cell phone with out my house. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So, Marvin, what are you going to do, Marvin? Aleli, sí, no, no, Aleli. Uh, okay, ya se fue. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Wrong away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, today, teacher is in the morning. Uh, uh, oh, I'm... okay. Ahora sí me escuchan. Yes. Yes, Aleli. Yes. Sí, yes. yo los escucho yes. también. Ya los escuché. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. What, what's the channel in the in the supermarket? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. In the morning, I was in the supermarket. Um, uh, no sé cómo decir los comprados de la casa. Sí, esos los comprados de la casa. A shopping. Uh huh. Mm, I shopping for the house. For the house. Okay. Uh -huh. And and go ahead, Marvin. What happened? Uh, and and now, uh, I uh, and in the in the afternoon, um. ¿Cómo sería? Got out with my family. Okay. Very nice, Marvin. Great. Okay. Good evening to everyone. I'm glad that everyone connected. We can listen. Yes. Okay, perfect. So today we're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, yesterday we were looking and learning about uh, starting unit two, describing purpose. Remember we learned, we learned how to describe the function or the reason for something. We started off with learning four and two. Let's take a moment and review a little bit from yesterday. What do you remember about four and two? for describing purpose. No, not too much. Okay. Okay, I see nobody remembers, don't worry. We're going to watch again the video to be able to describe and remember how we can describe things. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, 
it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. Okay, so remember, we are talking about describing the reason for something, why it exists, why it functions. With our partners, we're going to try a super easy way. We have many six different businesses or different establishments, and we only need to put the complement. How would we add the complement, right? So for a health club to attract people, what do you need? And that's it. We're going to have just a few moments with our partners to match those sentences. Okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect. Remember, this is part two. This is 2.2 in the platform. 2.2 in the platform. It's clear, teacher. Excellent. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well-written.
We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. All right. I'll... Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. Okay, are we ready? Okay, teacher. Excellent. Yes, ready. Number one. Go ahead, Aleli. Uh, for um, are you ready? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, number one, for a health club to attract new people, new, new pro. Um, um, uh -huh, but it should be people, but yes, uh huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, dyslexia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, um, it has to offer the light, light, lightest types of equipment. Good pronunciation. Types of equipment. Types of equip equipment. Yes, exactly. Equipment. Okay. Good. No, number two. No, your microphone. Okay. Number okay. two. Mm -hmm. A moment, please. Number two, uh, in order to run a profit, profitable restaurant, answer is uh, you need to hire a talented chef. You need to have? You need a, high, to a talented high, chef. High, a talented chef. Okay, chef. good, good. Morena, number three. Okay, teacher. To establish a successful new dance club, um, I need to have great music and lighting. Good. It it needs to have great music and lightning. Lightning. Okay. okay. Sorry. Lighting. Good. Uh, the next one, number four, uh, Santiago. Okay, teacher, for a coffee bar to succeed, it's a good idea to offer dessert too. Okay, good. Elvis, number five. Number five, in order for a magazine to succeed, it has to prove useful information. All right, and the last one, Delmi. To run a successful clothing boutique, and you need to keep up with the latest style. Good, latest. Latest, latest style. Okay, very nice. All of those answers are correct, but that way you can double check. Excellent. That's what you should have in your platform. 100 for this activity. The chair. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
only I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what is the pronunciation? A profitable, profitable, number two. Correct. The pronunciation is profitable. Ah, okay. Profitable. Profit. profit yes. Profitable. Profitable. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the next objective. What are we going to learn? What are we going to practice? Aisa, can you read? Okay. Uh, lesson object is the unit you will learn vocabulary related to success. You will have, you will help you express ideas. Okay, good. I'm going to help you a little bit with the pronunciations, okay? In this unit, you will learn vocabulary related to success. This will help you express ideas. So that is what we're going to learn. The first thing we're going to learn is vocabulary. So when you think about the people with a lot of money, singers, actors, Tom Cruise, eh, Taylor Swift, the successful people. What do you imagine? How, what skills would you describe that they have? How would you describe their personality? A ver si la entendí. ¿Quiere que describa? A, a, un a successful person. I understand, teacher. Okay, here we have success. So what is a person who is success? How do you describe them? Carlos Slim, Bill Gates, Tom Cruise, Dua Lupa, whatever, whatever area you like, what do the successful people have? For example, mm -hmm. someone how much money? Okay, they have much money, but their personality? What about their personality? Are they, people. are they scared? Did they you... have uh, many objectives in their life. Okay, they have many objectives. Mm -hmm. It's very smart. Okay, good. We have smart. Very nice. What else can we say about the people? When people how to support when, for example, uh, speak two languages. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're bilingual. They're bilingual. Okay. Yes. Good. N good ideas. Here we're going to learn more vocabulary to describe people more vocabulary to be able to give a better definition. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives that will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, attractive, entertaining, informative, well-written. We want you to work with us. Okay, let's take a look. We have many vocabularies to describe successful people, right? Many times people say, ooh, that person is clever or the person is knowledgeable, like for computers, right? Or people that are like models. Hi, she is, he is gorgeous, right? Captain America, Ooh, he is muscular, right? These are different adjectives to describe people. Do you understand all of the adjectives that are there? 
Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes. What is the meaning? Tough. Tough. The person is strong. They are not offended or they don't, or they have a strong character. This is tough. Teacher, excuse me, and tough, I understand the physical. Dura no. una persona. No. No. Fuerte. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is uh -huh. tough. Uh, is strong? Strong is physical. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's more okay. the attitude, teacher. Tough. Yes, like the mentality. Mentality. Yes. Mm -hmm. The person is tough. They they don't care. They continue. They are persistent, for example. Or also tough is, for example, they are hard. My boss, ooh, come, do this. Finish the program. Do this. Again, they are tough. They are very, very hard when they work too. Tough. Like in the military. Is it's different the one people um persevere. Yes, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's different. Mm -hmm. Good. Are the other words okay? Oh, yeah. Uh teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't understand when uh, say a uh, way writing. Well writing. Uh, way writing. Uh, the last yes pronunciation written written well correct written. well written is somebody for example um somebody that writes somebody that is published for example maybe jk rowling jk rowling is well written or um stephen king stephen king is well written it's a person that can is able to produce a, and is famous or is very talented because they can write. They can communicate. Okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. you. Thank you. You're welcome. The others were okay? Okay. Okay. Now, I want you to describe people that you know and try to use some of the new vocabulary. Okay, we're going to try to describe people that you know or people that you work with. Okay, for example, eh, my boss is very knowledgeable with technology and can use Zoom with many different aspects. But also, he is a very tough person because he always has to control everything and everything has to be in order. One of the great things, though, is that he is very clever and can solve many problems with think that's the idea with your partners you're going to try to use the vocabulary that are there or other vocabulary to describe people that you know it's clear it's clear teacher good any vocabulary that you need no you don't need other vocabulary Okay. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives that will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular, slender, clever, charming, knowledgeable, persuasive, tough, affordable, 
attractive, entertaining, informative, well written. We want you to work with us. Think of a businessman, an actor, and a president. Now think of at least two qualities for each and write them down. Okay. <clears throat> Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. One more time so you can double check. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to Um, is your is uh, always the time, all the time she um, is happy, very happy, is smile all the time. Um, uh, uh, it, she is fashionable too. Uh, uh, she does like uh, clothes. Did you? Okay. Uh, next, next, Laura, okay. Laura. Uh, my father, my okay. father. Um, hi, teacher. I'm sorry, at the cameras off. My mm -hmm. okay. Nuestras compañeras tampoco las encendieron, así que para ser justos las apagamos también. Okay. okay, no problem. <laughs> uh, my ready, my retired, my military father, Tao, us with a lot of military discipline. Um, but that a help us become what I am. Um, he was a very hungry, um, no happy. Um, in okay, but I okay, us only. Um, uh, how to say it was hard to live that time. Tough. Okay. Um, what? Tough. Okay, um, I help uh, become what I uh, I am. Okay, it's only. We need to work a bit more in vocabulary, but good. 
She's, okay. she's crying. She's crying, teacher, in this moment. <laughs> okay. Great. I'm glad that we are practicing a little bit to describe people, family, other things. The most important is use the vocabulary correctly. Remember, these are some new vocabulary, but you can use other vocabulary. For example, my friend is very intelligent. Uh, very, she, he is brilliant, uh, talkative, insecure, uh, whatever you want to describe. The important is that you can explain and defend your opinion. Why? Because when you go to the American embassy, when you go to the Canadian embassy, when you apply for a job, tell me about yourself. You have to explain why. Not only I'm intelligent, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm pretty, I'm wonderful. I'm no, why? This is the job, right? I'm responsible, I hardworking, I let I cheat. and why? That's why this vocabulary is important. Because if you can't explain to another person, it's very difficult for you to get a better position or communicate. Okay. Any questions? Any vocabulary? Yes, teacher. I have a question. Uh huh. Uh, what did it mean? The clever is intelligent. Clever. Similar. Similar. Please, please. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Small. Smart. Smart. Uh huh. Smart is similar. Intelligent. But. Similar. The difference is clever is not necessary with education, not academic. Okay. 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 So for example, I have a problem. I don't, I need to fix for the, um, I need to fix something. Okay. I take things that are not normal and I find the solution. This is clever, intelligent, academic like Albert Einstein, mm -hmm. they are intelligent, academically, smart. Smart is maybe not clever, but for the life experience, right? Okay. No, no study, but from the experience, ah, you are smart. Ignacio. For example, what do you do when someone takes a pistol? It's not going to help the intelligence. Pero te va a ayudar the smart, the street smart. This is the difference. Excellent teacher, because I have is uh, I don't have clear uh, the different uh, two words. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. No, good. Any other questions? I, yes, Alain. You have to learn new initial words. More than unusual, you have to learn synonyms. The best okay. way is by learning synonyms. These are like synonyms okay. and antonyms. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No. Okay. So uh, now that my no asked, I'm going to show you in English. This is called the thesaurus. So let me show you so you can get better with your English. When you want to expand your vocabulary and learn more, like in the case of Noah that he gave the example, you can put in thesaurus. If you don't remember the name of the word, you can put in synonyms and you're going to have the same thing. The thesaurus, for example, Merriam-Webster. Here, you're going to find words that are similar. Now, here, no ask for the word clever. So I put in the word clever. And then I'm going to get many different words. The good about the Merriam-Webster is the strong color is very similar. A lighter color is mm, more or less similar, but not exactly. 
And the other is sometimes, but not usual. And this is going to help you to get better with synonyms. The same with antonyms. Here, you can see, expand the vocabulary. Oh, so if I want to say clever, the opposite, my friend is not clever. This is Spanish. In Spanish, we do many times, no. Inteligente, no inteligente, but no. In English, we have vocabulary for it, right? So instead of saying clever, oh, my friend is unimaginative. My friend is stodgy. My friend is derivative. So we have other ways to say it. Remember, strong colors, strong relevance. Light color, mm, a little bit closer, but not exactly. And the other one, only in specific occasions. And you can put any word you want. My friend wanted to use the word smart. He put smart. Ah, and we can have different types. The definition here, and then more words that you can use here. And then you can have many different. For example, there are different smarts, but I want to use smart as intelligent. Oh, now I have more words. I can use, oh, he is, as you can see, smart, similar, clever. He is astute, similar in Spanish, astuto, right? Cunning, bright. And, and then this helps you, especially if you want to expand your vocabulary. If you have small vocabulary, you say, I, I need more. Put there, tu, 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 tu. and the same, the same function, only the new word. It's okay? Yes, teacher, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, now we're going to go to the next topic and Laura is going to read for us the objective of the next one, okay? Laura, can you please tell us what is the objective of the next video? In this, cl in this class, the participants will listen to a conversation where ways of give, giving reasons are used. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to give reason in different ways. Remember, reasons answer the question, why? Why? Laura, do you like pupusas? Yes, I like pupusas. Where is the best place to eat pupusas for you? Um... In Pupuseria um, Sofical in the Planes de Renderos. Why? Because the place is beautiful, um, nice vista, buena vista. Oh. View. View, nice view. Um, pupusas. Um, okay. When uh, sauce. Okay, sauce. very nice. That is the idea, like Laura's example. We are going to learn how to explain why. For anything, pupusas, restaurants, bar, uh, clubs, discotheques. Why? The beach, the mountain. So today we're going to learn a little bit more on how to give reasons. Okay. Here, we're going to look for a new place in town. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. Can you think about fashionable places in your city? Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music, and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. First, are there any words, expressions that you don't know or don't know how to pronounce? Mm. 
Mitcha. Mm -hmm. um, what is the meaning? Uh, um, crowded and packed. Good. They are synonyms. And crowded means with a lot of people. Like in the stadium. is crowded. Packed means together. The pack. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions or words? What is the pronunciation uh, and loss of fashionable? Fashionable. Fashionable. Fashion? No. Fashion? Fashion? No. No. No, 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 no es una O, na. No. Now. Now. No, no, now, no, no, na, na, na. 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 Exactly, fashionable. Oh. Okay. Fashionable. 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 It's the word. <laughs> yes. Fashionable. Correct, that is correct. Nabo, no, noble. No. Fashion, no. na. Fashion, na, na. Fashionable. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So, uh, Elvis, can you please be Ben? Aleli, can you please be Mayumi? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> What's your favorite clue, Ben? The Soul Clue. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded. So it's easy to get in. That is funny. There are always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brown, new and modern, and lots of fashionable. Uh, people go there. It's a uh, color, the Casablanca. All right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there in just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to ask some night? I don't. You, uh, I thought you never ask. Okay. Good. Very nice. I like the intonation. Very good. That's the idea of the newest in place. If you notice, we don't always have to use because. But it's normal to use it because when we explain. I like it because ta 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 ta. Or, for example, oh, it's brand new. It's fashionable. I, it has a, a not necessary always because. But always is necessary, explain with reason. Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. And that's what we're going to practice. We're going to practice describing places and why you go there or why you like it. For example, you go to, which mall do you go to? Do you go to... Uh, Unicentro, La Gran Vía, Plaza Mundo. Uh, do you go to Multiplaza? Where, and why? Oh, for restaurants, what place do you like to eat? The To relax. What beach? Why? Uh, for the hotel, what the, any areas, but explain why. Mm -hmm. As an example, uh, Elvis, if you can work in any company, in what company would you like to work? Um, I would like to work in uh, in the government. <laughs> in which, in which part? A um, sana, maybe aduanas, immigration, uh huh, mar, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, economy 
economy. Why? Um, I like the numbers. Uh, I I like uh, uh, contability. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I would like to have a good salary. <laughs> okay. Similar like Elvis, right? You are going to ask your partner, for example, questions. Where would you like to work? Ah, where do you like to go to for vacation? What is your favorite restaurant? How? And the idea is explain why. It's okay? Okay. Any questions? Okay. Okay, teacher. No questions? No. All right. Let's go. Let's practice. Give details and ask your partner questions. I am going to ask Raquel. Raquel, why did you start your own business? Ah, I'm going to ask Aleli. Oh, Aleli, why do you like to read? Look behind Aleli. Montón de libros. Ni le caben ya. Uh -huh. And then, and she has to explain why. Right? This is the idea. Hey, Santiago, why do you have headphones like DJ? Que me explique why. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let's try. Only question, Sandy. <laughs> uh -huh. Always, always, right? Okay. Let's try it. Hello, if you want to give reasons, you may do so by using because, since, because of, and some others. Stay and you will learn not only the meaning, but how to use them. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the Soul Club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. 
because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four. Four plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well known, popular for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun. Or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. Can you answer the following questions given reasons? Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. Excellent. So now we learn different ways to express reasons. What are those ideas? Since. We use a couple more. One more time. Just to be seen. There we can see. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the soul club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four. Four plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well known, popular for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. Okay, are we okay? Any questions? Any vocabulary? Teacher, what is your favorite food? In what restaurant? <laughs> in for me. Case. The same question. Uh, <laughs> for, for me. Yes. Uh, my favorite, my favorite food probably is a shrimp cocktail in a in a rose sauce. Mm -hmm. And I like it from Supermarino. I like Supermarino's shrimp Super cocktails Marino. or other restaurants. For example, um, I don't know, uh, Mauritas or other or other different places. But that's probably my favorite. Do you like the food? Picture? Do I? Sorry, Aleli? You like uh, you like uh, um, okay. food? Seafood. Seafood. Uh, seafood. Seafood. Yes. Seafood. Yes. Yes. No, no. Only your microphone. Se te escucha cortada, Leli. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's why. But don't worry. Okay. I understand now. Yes, I I like seafood. Um, I like to eat a lot of different. Not all seafood, 
but I like seafood. I like mm, squid and lobster and shrimp and fish. The lobster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh-huh. But if if you if you if you make at home, it's cheaper. It's cheaper if you make at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent teacher. Mm -hmm. It's funny because the people think it's not is not cheap, and Aleli is correct, but it's the same as Burger King. Because you go to Burger King, five dollars, six dollars, and the, the lobster you buy one lobster tail, six dollars, the same. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's it, it's it, the place, the place, uh huh. The place, uh -huh. the, place the place is good, but the place is bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. I am hungry. I have hungry, teacher. I am. I am hungry. I am hungry. I am hungry. Good. Elvis, are you married? I remember you are married, right? Yes, I am. Why? Ah, uh, because I... I like Elvis. If primero ves, está bien, está escuchando a la esposa, se fijaron. <laughs> 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 ya nos exhibiste. Óigame. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. Because uh, first I fall in love. Okay. Uh, second, I don't stay alone. Okay. Yeah. I, I um, don't. I don't I don't like to be alone. I don't like be alone, okay? Correct. To be alone. Mm -hmm. And three uh, because I wish uh, have a children. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. And three reasons. Do you have children, Elvis? Yes, I I have a daughter. Only one. Yes. Okay. Hey, you see, it's the same. Why is this grammar important? Because when you go to the job interview, the first question, the first question, después de eh, así informal, tell me about yourself, is, ¿por qué querer dejar tu trabajo? Why? Why do you want to change jobs? Why do you want to immigrate? Why do you want to enter the university? That's why today's class is important because they are going to ask you, you want visa? Why? ¿Por qué te la debemos de dar? Why? ¿Qué vas a venir a hacer? Why? You have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. It's okay? Okay, Elvis. Select one person and ask them any question. Any question, but with why. Mm -hmm. Okay. Santiago Chavez. Okay. Tell me, buddy, I'm here to talking about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind uh, music? Ooh. What kind of music do you like? My most, Lord, man. <laughs> most. Okay. Well, what kind of music? The most like. kind music. Alternate rock, for example, I like that. Elefante, so the stereo. Rock, 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 rock. Yes, alternate. Okay. Why? For example, so the stereo. Why Elefante, rock? And Elizabeth, because it's it's amazing for me. Is is my gener generation. I like that. Espanol. Rock in Spanish and English too. Nirvana, the Zeppelin, I like uh, Guns N' Roses. Uh, so many, 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 many group. Why? Why do you work in the radio? Why? Because I love the music. I love karaoke. I love the musical not uh, instrument, and I love. When you 
and talk with people and making happy with your thinking and your mind and can, you can uh, transfer that motion to Excellent. people. Okay. Nice. Excellent job, guys. That is exactly. Thank you so much. That is exactly how to use today's class. And that is why today's class is important because you need it in the real life to describe for a new job, for a visa, for apply to another country, for a scholarship. You have to explain why. Why? So easy. You go shopping. Algún día van shopping in Miami. ¿Quieres compraste algo? ¿No te gustó? ¿Lo quieres regresar? Why? Why do you want to return? Uh, that's the idea. So thank you so much for connecting today and learning important things that are going to help you. And we are going to continue on Monday with unit two. Remember to complete unit one and we are in 2.7 in unit two. We begin on Monday 2.7, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, All right thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Have Bye. a good weekend. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.